All right. Hey guys, how is everybody doing today? Good to see you. All right. So let's go here. Question I have here. Hey Mark, what is the fastest or easiest way to get the universe to give me what I want? Okay. So let's do that. Talk about that. How do you get the universe to give you what you want easily or fast? So the way the universe works, the universe works on what we emit. You see, our brains don't, okay, the best way I can put it to you, to, for you to understand is this, okay. Our brains are receivers. Our brains don't give out information. You ever thought about that? Your brain don't send stuff. Your brain only receives stuff. So, your brain is open for reception from the universe, the multiverse, whatever, the quantum field. So, what you want to do is, you now have to get yourself in a vibration to receive the information that the universe is broadcasting. See, the universe is constantly broadcasting all type of channels. It's broadcasting the success channel. It's broadcasting the lack channel. It's broadcasting all the infinite channels out there. And all of that channel and information is open up to you right now. So what you have to do, you have to now pinpoint yourself on the frequency. How do you get the frequency? So the fastest way to get the universe to get you what you want is adjusting what's called your vibration. What is a vibration, Mark? Vibrations are how we feel, how we talk, our state of being, what we think, what we focus on. That's basically a vibration. Vibration is how your body's feeling, how you're reacting, what is your mindset? That's vibration. Everything we're doing, we're in constant movement, constant flux. Nothing is ever at rest in you. So, if you desire or want the universe to give you what you want fast, you have to create conviction to the universe. You have to convince yourself that whatever it is you're asking for or telling the universe, you deserve it. It should be yours. You should have it. Why should I have it? Because you deserve it. That's the fastest way to get the universe to give you something. The next fastest way to get the universe to give you something is stop listening to your logical, analytical mind. Think about that. You have to stop listening to your ego. Your ego will tell you it's not going to work. It's not possible. This is happening. You can't do it that way. That's the fastest way to not get the universe. So what you want to do is you want to learn and master your ego, your conscious mind. Once you can master and learn your intellect mind, it's a lot easier now for you to manifest and get stuff from the universe. A lot easier, a lot faster. So how do you learn to master your intellect mind? Here's the one rule of thumb when it comes to the mind. The mind can only, always remember this, if, and this will help you. Always remember, your mind can only get you halfway all the time. 24-7, 365, that's how it's set up. So the next time your mind is giving you doubt, remind yourself, oh, this guy can only get me halfway. Now, if you want to go halfway, then that's fine for you. But I'm sure you don't want to go halfway. You want to go full way. You want to get into the universe. You want to get to you want to get your manifestations, right? You want to get your goals and dreams manifested, right? So that's the fast. So let's go back to the conviction part of it, because this is very good. So I mentioned you have to have conviction in yourself, but you gotta have a conviction also in the process. There is a process to deliberately manifesting or creating our reality. Everything takes a process. You know that too, right? From birth, kid, adult, process. Seed, tree, fruit, process. Everything is a process. So is the laws of nature or physics in the universe. The process is you have to allow the energy to come together at the right time so you can manifest this what you want. And how do you get the energy to come at the right time? You have to get out of your own way. 
whenever you can get out of your own way you're gonna get into the creative process now it goes back again to the ego what what makes us get in our own way our minds our intellectual minds. you know our minds are always thinking like okay why is it happening why did I get that you know if when we go through life we go through certain stuff you may get a sickness or anything in your life you always say to yourself man why did I get that why I should have avoided that how could I do that maybe it's this maybe it's that oh my goodness just that pain in my body oh it's maybe this maybe that you start googling everything up oh my god da, 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 da. So what your mind does? Oh my God, we're dying. We're no. We just, I got this pain. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe it's that. We, we got your mind constantly intellectually thinks, and your mind makes you believe that what it's thinking is true. And you say, Yeah, that, that's possible. Well, you know that did happen. That, that that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Listen to me. It doesn't. Anything your mind's telling you, it's not. It doesn't make sense. Only time the mind makes sense is when it's in accordance with what you want anytime your mind is giving you negativity stuff that won't work and you say well that makes sense I'm not getting it. no it doesn't it doesn't make sense the reason why it doesn't make sense because that's not what you want what you want makes sense what you don't want makes no sense am I correct see how simple I put that down Whatever it is that you desire, it makes sense. Whatever that you don't desire, it doesn't make sense. So the, the rule of thumb is when your mind is telling you stuff like, man, I don't know if this is going to work, man. Are we trying to do this stuff, man? I don't know, Mark. Mark, you know what? Maybe, nope. Remember, it can only get you halfway. You don't want to go halfway. You want to go the full way. So when you convince your mind, now I'm talking about the subconscious mind now, not your conscious mind. You want to convince your unconscious, your creative mind, that what you want is what you truly deserve. And let me tell you something, people. Always remember this. Whatever you desire or whatever you want, you don't have to tell your mind why you want, why you deserve it. It's your birthright to deserve it. Because your mind will say, well, why do, you, why do we need you? We don't need it. Why do you want it? Why should you have it? Don't follow that. You don't have to tell anybody or explain anybody why I deserve to be successful, why I deserve. So if they ask you to tell them this, it's your birthright. That's what you came here to do. Anything you want or desire from the universe, all you have to say to the universe is, hey, I deserve this. I'm convinced that I'm going to get this. That's it. There's no, well, why do you deserve it? Why should I give it to you? You did this last year. I don't know if it's going to work for you. None of that. That's the mistake we make. We convince ourselves that whatever we want or whatever we deserve, there have to be a reason why we deserve it. There is no reason why you deserve it, man. You just deserve it because you deserve it. You just want it because you want it. You desire it because you desire it. That's all. That's how this stuff works, people. So once you deserve something, right, once you convince, you know, remember now, the see, fastest way to get to the universe here is say, it's conviction. So once you convince yourself that you deserve it, now you op you're open to expect it. See? Because now you don't have any resistance. You're out of your own way. Your subconscious mind now is programmed that you deserve it. Now the doors of abundance opens up for you. And it starts to rush into your reality. And all the stuff start going good in your life. Your personal relationships, your finances, your mental health. Everything starts going great in your life. Because you just gave one simple command. I deserve it because I deserve it. There's no why. Human beings made that up. Matrix made that up. It's a lax thing. They made that up for you when you were in school. Your parents did that to you, man. When you were a kid. Mom, can I have... Uh, 50 cents to buy some ice cream well why do you deserve 50 cents what did you do to deserve 50 cents that's a program so that may seem small to some of you guys because you say well when, when you're a kid man you gotta you gotta let your kid earn it because you know maybe they did something bad you don't want to get them ice cream to do something bad I understand that but I'm showing you the bigger picture it's a trick so you grow up in your entire life thinking that whatever you want you have to you have to you have to be worthy of it you have to you have to, um, there's a reason why you should get it. And that messes you up. Because I'm telling you people, 
there is no reason why you should get what you want. You just get what you want because you want it. That's how the universe, the universe is not out here. The universe, for the record, people, the next thing about the universe is make the universe the fastest way to get stuff to you. The universe is not a judge. The universe don't care. It doesn't judge you. The universe is going to give you whatever you tell the universe you deserve. Hey, universe, listen, for all my life, you know, I've been in a lack state. Now I've, I learned this knowledge and teaching. Hey, man, I deserve a lot of abundance in my life. Universe says, yes, you do. That's what it's going to tell you. Universe says, yes, you do deserve a lot of abundance in your life, so I'm going to give it to you. See, universe don't care. Let me show you why the universe don't care. You may say to the universe, this is subconscious now, hey, universe, I've been struggling a lot, man. I keep, why, why, do I keep get, why do I keep struggling, man? I keep having negative stuff happen to me, man. I keep I keep deserving these negative things happening. My universe says, "Yes, you deserve a lot of negative stuff in your life." It's not see, it's not a judge. It's, whatever you're telling the universe, the universe is going to give it to you. So the fastest way to manifest or get answers is the conviction to yourself that I deserve whatever it is I want. And the big secret to it is. There is should be no reason behind it, people. You did okay. Let, okay, let me okay. Let me put it to you this way. You know the the only one reason you you have you, you do the, to say that you deserve stuff is because you're here already. The fact that you're here, alive, in this moment, you deserve whatever you want. So you can say that whatever because guys, this is subjective world. And the issue is what stops you from getting what you want is your mind checking you. Your intellect mind will check you to say to you, well, look at you. Now you think you all this big, bad, deserving this stuff. Well, why do you deserve it? And what you do is you listen to your own mind. He says, well, then your mind says to you, you don't deserve that because such and such. And then what else mess you up? Your religion. Well, what have you done? Have you done good deeds? Have you done this? Then you don't deserve it. God will tell you if you deserve it. See, all of that stuff, God, people, is made up, man. That's correct. Someone says it. You deserve what you... I deserve what I want or desire just because. That's how, that's how it is, people. You want, listen, once you do that, once you get that in your head, your whole life becomes a lot easier. And the reason why your life becomes a lot easier, people, is because everything is subjective in your own mind, in your own head. Whatever you think and believe in your own mind, in your, in your own head, that's what's going to become your own real world. That's a product called subjective creative reality. So I, re I can uh, review again the two things that you must do to get the universe to manifest faster get you is to work with conviction convince yourself you deserve it just because there's no reason the second thing to do is to understand that your mind can only get you halfway and don't listen to your mind when it's telling you hey why do you deserve to try to or try to throw stuff to you to tell you why you shouldn't get it why it's not going to work you could, you don't you don't need that it's yes, correct it's it's already yours Correct. Now, another another point, guys, I want to mention now. Whenever you are putting stuff out to the universe to manifest stuff, be clear on what it is you want. Okay? Be clear on what it on what you, what is it you want. Once you get clear on whatever it is you desire or whatever it is you want, then it's a lot easier now and it's more clear channel for you to get it in. Now, how this stuff works, someone I mentioned them, the neocortex and the creative mind. So how this stuff works is our conscious consciousness is what cre observes and brings reality. And our consciousness cr even creates space and time. So you're not in space and time. Space and time is in you. Okay, so there's no space and time. It's not fundamental. It's consciousness gives rise to space-time. So that's something important to understand. 
So when that happens is because of your conscious or consciousness or your subconscious mind, what your subconscious mind does now, it will interact with the world we live in, which is the 3D world, the matrix. So based on information that's being put out to us and the information that you are putting your attention on, that is how you want to create and generate the matrix. So the matrix is all about your attention. So the matrix is created for to they're buying for your attention because your attention creates your realities, right? What am I what I'm so if I'm watching something, I'm focusing on it, that's more likely I'm gonna be influenced by it. So they put out a lot of information, a lot of stuff to grab your attention. So you just have to be aware where you put your attention. So if you want to be to get the stuff in your life, put your put your attention on the stuff that will bring it to your life. Watch programs, watch things that can bring that to your life. If you want stuff that don't bring stuff to your life, that's what you watch, that's what you come in. So the universe is a very self-correcting code, but the main main message I want you guys to get today is this, is the conviction that you deserve what you deserve and there's no reason for it. Just if the only reason you deserve it is because you're here in this in this life and you're alive. And that's the only thing that matters. So don't let anybody tell you, well, you can't get it because you're not this. Well, you can't have that. You didn't go to school. You can't do that. You didn't go to this college to learn that. You can't do that. How are you going to make money? You don't even know the first step about doing that. All of that is a limitation created. You got to understand, people, that you have an infinite intelligent mind. This infinite intelligent mind works across all the multiverse. It is smarter than anybody could imagine. Everyone have it. You just have to learn to trust it and plug into it. And once you plug into that stuff, you can be the smartest, most intelligent, genius person and never have to go to school, never have to go to college, never have to do anything, never have to learn. It just comes to you and you attract it and bring it in. See how that works? We live in a, a multiverse, yes, of endless possibilities. Remember that. It's an endless possibility for you that exists. Once you plug in, the universe plugs back to you. And then you will get it that way. Alright? So that's today's lecture. See you again.